Hey, good morning, Parkside. Welcome to this week's encouragement video. Thanks for joining. Uh, today I'm joining you from sunny Florida as our family has gotten away for a week of vacation. And uh, it's, it's been lovely down here. We found ourselves just uh, being able to get some good rest and be refreshed by it. Um, but one of the things I, I want to talk about this morning that, that I think will encourage you is on this idea of refreshment. Uh, Proverbs 11.25 says, He who refreshes others will himself be refreshed. Uh, or th one of the other translations I looked at this morning said, A generous person will be enriched. Uh, but he who refreshes others will himself be refreshed. And uh, as refreshing as a week of vacation is, I found that having people in my life that I love and they, I know that they love me, we love to be on the same team together, those people are even more refreshing than even a week of vacation. And so I wanted to tell you about two of those people uh, that happen to be on our church staff. Uh, the first is Rachel Sir. Rachel this week celebrated 10 years of working at, at the church. Uh, and many of you know Rachel from the phenomenal work she does in Kids Town with our preschoolers. Uh, if you've had kids down there, you know how refreshing it is to know that your kids are loved, they are well cared for, that she's thought through every detail. Uh, what you may not know is during the week she's doing work in bookkeeping uh, and then also in helping us to see just other logistical details for Sundays, problems that might come up, questions people will have. Uh, and she's a phenomenally valuable member of our team. Uh, when I was in family ministry for the last number of years, uh, I worked very closely and it was an absolute joy to work alongside Rachel, continues to be a joy to work alongside her. Uh, and we're so grateful for, uh, for her and for her work and for her life and her family. Uh, a critical part of our team. Uh, the second person I want to uh, mention to you is Joyce Northcutt. Joyce this week celebrates 37 years of working at the church. 37 years, that's amazing. Uh, you think about the, the changes just in the world that have occurred in the last 37 years of the way things operate in an office, uh, changes in our church in the last 37 years, all kinds of ups, downs, zigging, zagging, different things, you name it. And Joyce continues to be marked by deep love for God's people, deep love for the church, deep love for God himself, and a commitment to serve the church with everything she's got. Uh, and Joyce has uh, just been tremendous in helping us to navigate all kinds of questions that come up, of learning new systems, doing whatever's needed. She's been an absolute all-star, uh, a backbone of our team at Parkside. And so uh, I want you to know how much refreshment, how much joy it brings me to get to work alongside these ladies uh, who've been at it and continued at it and been faithful. Uh, and as you see them around, I just want you to express your gratitude to them uh, for jobs that not everybody sees what they're doing. Oh my goodness, but it matters so much. And we are so grateful for them. Uh, it, you know, and as you think about that, I want you just to imagine there's probably other people in your life that do important work that enrich and inf and refresh you in ways that maybe you don't see or you've overlooked. And just take a moment to recognize Proverbs eleven twenty five: He who refreshes others will himself be refreshed. And think of a way you can just say thanks to them, to encourage them, and to let them know that I see you and you matter and you're doing a great job. Park said, I, I missed being with you last Sunday. I'm excited to be back this Sunday uh, and we'll be in Genesis 17. Uh, if you haven't read ahead, I'd encourage you to do that, especially if you have uh, elementary or middle school or high school kids. Uh, Genesis 17 is the sign of God's covenant with Abraham. Uh, it talks about circumcision and, and what all goes into that and what it means. Uh, and, and look, uh, in the sermon, we're not going to be graphic or, or get you know into details that we don't need to get into. Uh, but if you've got a fourth grader, it would probably be a good thing that you read through that passage out loud with them and talk with them about what's there. Uh, I don't want to spring any surprises on you. I know that you as the parents are the primary disciple makers. And the last thing in the world we want to do is make that job more difficult with the Sunday morning passages. Uh, so we'll be there in Genesis 17. We'll read it aloud. We'll preach it. And like I said, we're not going to we're not going to uh, be graphic or, or get into strange details we ought not get into. Uh, but I encourage you to read through that with, with your kids, talk about it with them, hear their questions, but also start to see what does this passage teach us about God? That'll be the lens by which we preach this. What are these first 14 verses of Genesis 17? What do they teach us about God? Uh, and as you read through it by yourself 
and uh, with your family. I hope that you'll start to have some good traction on what that means. I look forward, I look forward to seeing you Sunday and uh, exploring that together. Have a great week and I'll see you soon.